ready to launch your WordPress website within seconds. Let's see how we can do it with InstaWP. From the InstaWP dashboard, click on Add New. Select your desired WordPress version. Select your PHP version and then click on Create Site. And that's it. Your new WordPress website is ready. Click on Magic Login. And now you are in your new WordPress website dashboard. Now click on visit website. And this is the WordPress website that we have just created within seconds. But that's just isn't it. InstaWP is much more powerful than this. Let's dive in and find out. Now at first we are going to see how we can install plugins and themes on our brand new WordPress website using InstaWP launcher. So for this we need to install this Google Chrome extension InstaWP Launcher. Now let's say I want to install Elementor Page Builder on my WordPress website. So I can install this WordPress plugin directly on my WordPress website from wordpress.org. After installing the Google Chrome extension, here we will see a launch button on any theme or plugin that we want to install on our WordPress website. Now to install this plugin on any site, we can click on this drop down and after that we can select the website and we can install it. And in this way, this plugin will be installed on our brand new WordPress website. And I think this is the easiest way to install plugins and themes on your WordPress website from the wordpress.org. And now we are going to see some advanced InstaWP tools. So these are our WordPress websites. And next to our WordPress website, we will see an actions tab. So here it is. Now our first tool is auto login. If I click on this, I will be redirected to the dashboard of my WordPress website. And after that we have reserve tool. Now if I click on this and after that if I click on confirm. So as you can see that our WordPress website is now reserved and this website will not expire in the future. But this option is only available in paid plans. So if you want to reserve your temporary website, then you will have to upgrade your account. Now if you want to unreserve this website, just click on this flag icon again and then click on confirm. And as you can see that our website is now unreserved. So next tool is save template. We will check out this tool later in this video. And after that we are going to click on this three dots button, which is also called more actions. And here we will see more tools for our WordPress website. Here we will see a tool PHP configuration and we can click on it to do all the PHP configurations of our WordPress website. Like we can change the PHP version of our WordPress website from here. And also we can change the memory limit from here. And after that we will see view credentials. If I click on this, InstaWP will show us the credentials for this WordPress website. And we can easily copy these credentials from here to log into our WordPress website. Our next tool is migrate. We will also discuss this later on in this video tutorial. And after that we can export our WordPress website as a local WP. And then if I hover over tools, here we will see more advanced tools like database editor. So if I click on it, so in this way we will be redirected to PHP my admin. And here we will see all the tables of our WordPress website and we can make changes in the WordPress website database. And after that we have view logs option. We can view the logs of our WordPress website and then we have a code editor. So if I click on this, it will open up in a new tab and we can use this tool to edit the code of our WordPress website. Let's say I want to change anything in wp-config.php file. So I'm going to click on this file and here we will see all the code of this file and we can easily add new code to this file. And after that we have install plugins tool. So if I click on this and from here we can easily install plugins and themes on our WordPress website. Now let's say I want to install this contact form 7 plugin on my WordPress website. So this is the plugin page. So what I am going to do is that I am going to copy this plugin slug from here. Go back to InstaWP dashboard and paste it here. And after that I am going to click on install plugin. And as you can see that our plugin is now successfully installed on my WordPress website. So now if I visit my WordPress website dashboard and then click on plugins and install plugins. And here we will see the plugin that we have just installed using InstaWP dashboard. And we can also install themes using the same method. And after that we have deployments. So click on it. And you can use this tool to integrate InstaWP with your Git account. And after that we have clone. If you want to duplicate this website, then click on clone and it will be duplicated. 
and after that we have delete button if you want to delete this website then click on delete and then click on confirm in insta wp we can also save our wordpress websites as templates and later on we can use that templates for our new projects so this is my wordpress website and i have done some particular settings for this wordpress website i have installed few plugins and themes for this website and i do this for all elementor wordpress websites now with insta wp I can save this WordPress website as a template and use this for my new WordPress website projects. Let's see how we can do this. So we will go back to InstaWP dashboard. On the top we will see a templates menu. So we can click on it and here we will see all the templates that we have already saved. Now if we want to add a new template, we can just click on add template and here we will see our WordPress websites. Let's say I want to save this first WordPress website as a template. So I am going to select this WordPress website. After that, I am going to click on next. Now I am going to enter the name for my template. After that, we can add the description for our template and we can set the template type as private or shared. And we can also turn on or off instant template. And after that, if we click on save and as you can see that our template is successfully created or we can also save templates from the Insta WP dashboard. Here we will see our WordPress website. Next to our WordPress website, we will see actions tab and under it, we will see save template tool. So we can click on it and save our WordPress website as a template. And as you can see that our template is now created. Now, if I want to create the same WordPress website with all the plugins and themes installed and all the settings already performed, then what I can do is that I can use this template and create our new WordPress website. We can create the website using the template from here. If we click on this plus button create new website and in this way this WordPress website will be created using this template or we can go back to InstaWP dashboard click on add new and here from the top menu we can select from template and from here we can select the template and then click on create site and as you can see that we have successfully created our new WordPress website with the template and now if I click on magic login so we are in the dashboard of our WordPress website that we have just created. So now if I click on plugins and installed plugins and here you can see that plugins are already installed because we have used the template and also if I click on appearance and then themes and as you can see that our themes are also installed. Now let's see how we can create staging websites with InstaWP within few clicks. So this is my WordPress website and I want to test few things on my WordPress website. So instead of testing on the main website, I am going to create a staging website for it so that if something is messed up, our main website will not break. For this, we are going to install a InstaWP plugin. So from the WordPress website dashboard, we are going to click on plugins and then click on add new. Now here we are going to search for a plugin InstaWP connect. And we are going to install and activate this first plugin. And as you can see that our plugin is now successfully installed and activated. So we are going to click on tools and then click on Insta WP. And as you can see that our Insta WP account is not connected. So at first we are going to connect our account. So we are going to click on connect button. And we will be redirected to Insta WP dashboard. And now we are going to click on approve. And as you can see that our website is now connected with the Insta WP. Now, if you want to create quick staging of your WordPress website, then you can click on quick staging. This will not include your media folder, but if you want to create full staging of your WordPress website, then you can select full staging from here or also you can select custom staging from here. I am going to select full staging for this tutorial. And after that, I am going to click on next step. And after that, you can check this based on your requirements, but I am going to click on next step. Now click on create staging. And as you can see that our staging website is now in progress. And now our staging WordPress website is ready. So if I click on auto login, this will take us to the dashboard of our staging WordPress website. And we can easily test everything on our staging website. 
and if something is went wrong it will not break our main website and now we are going to see how we can migrate our wordpress website to our domain and hosting using insta wp tool so next to your wordpress website you will see this three dots button just click on it and here we will see migrate version 2 so we are going to click on it now here we can enter the domain of our existing live website or we can create a new live website so if you want to create new live website just click on it create new live site and after that you can connect your web hosting account to auto create your new websites and if you want to transfer just click on existing live website enter your domain name here and then click on connect and then you can easily transfer your wordpress website from instawp to your domain and hosting you can also sell templates on instawp template store and make money let's see how you can do that so to do this go to instawp.com slash seller and from here you can read the documentation and after that you can sign up as a seller and sell templates and make money with instawp template store you can earn up to 85 percent commissions now let's talk about the pricing of this amazing tool we will start with the free plan and then we will move to the paid plans with the instawp free plan you can have 1 gb of disk space three active websites and with the recent improvement to the free plan expiration time of temporary websites went from two days to seven days but in the free plan you cannot reserve a wordpress website that's mean you cannot create permanent websites on instawp so now you have tested the free plan let's talk about the paid plans available at first we have a starter plan then we have a professional plan and if you are running a wordpress agency then we have a agency plan with starter plan you get five active websites five templates and seven days expiration period of your temporary websites with professional plan you get 25 active websites 10 templates and 15 days expiration period of your temporary websites and with the agency plan you get 50 active websites 25 templates 29 days expiration date of your temporary websites and you can also add up to five team members you can scroll down a little bit and here you will see all the details of these plans and you can choose the plan that best fits for you you can also purchase your plans for monthly basis or yearly basis if you pay on yearly basis then you will get two months free i will highly recommend you to check out this amazing tool link is available in the video description thank you so much for watching the video tutorial please like and subscribe